everyone welcome to this update this evening i really hope you're doing great i hope you're enjoying your friday afternoon and we're going to be looking at what is happening across the atlantic basin with focus being on the caribbean as per usual it's windy it remains quite windy uh, those seas are also very rough across portions of the region but things are going to be improving as we head into next week for some areas and that next cool down is also expected models remain pretty solid on it Let's get into what is happening. We can see the satellite imagery here. Some activity off the African coast and also over in the Eastern Pacific, likely associated with the intertropical convergence zone. And that is where the trade winds of the north and the south meet. And when they do, there is an increase in activity, all this convection, these thunderstorms as well. As for the Gulf of Mexico, there we can see all of that convection and those white dots as zoom into the area. So it's been pretty stormy across portions of Texas, Louisiana, and other states of the southeastern U.S. as well. So we can see all of this activity. The bulk of it is offshore out in the uh, Gulf, but a lot of this is making its way in, likely bringing some periods of heavy rain, which may trigger flooding because it, it's been raining a lot across some of these states for a couple of days now. So all of this uh, rainfall, the soil getting so saturated and the water maybe not running off very quickly in some areas, likely to pile up and result in some level of flooding. But hopefully there's nothing very significant happening right now. As we head towards the Caribbean here, we're looking at the visible satellite. We can see all of these clouds moving by, moving through Jamaica. And this is actually bringing some rainfall to some areas this afternoon. So for example, where I am in St. James, it's raining here. Very lovely weather. Not very windy compared to previous days, but it's very lovely weather, as I said. And also, that has been the story for the Lesser Antilles, where these showers continue to move in. So that rainy pattern is going to be persistent for some time and another front is going to be making its way through as we head into next week that's going to be uh the reason for that expected cool down Our models are pretty much consistent about it happening and it seems pretty likely but of course as we head into the weekend and early next week i'll be talking more and more about that as it relates to the wind forecast this is for later this evening and we're seeing all these purple and blue shade and so it remains quite windy across the caribbean the strongest winds offshore Colombia, so up to 30 knots or so within that area, which is around 34, 35 miles per hour with higher gusts. Also very windy across uh, various islands of the Lesser Antilles and even the Virgin Islands, even near the Turks and Caicos Islands, we're seeing some of those blues. And it is a similar story for much of the southern Bahamas and headed towards the northern coast of Hispaniola. But uh, overall, it's pretty windy across the Caribbean. It has been like that for some time. And with that, those seas are pretty rough, as I mentioned before. We're seeing these green and these yellowish shadings. So those seas up to around 8 or even 9 feet out there, even 10 feet in some spots. But as I said, that next front is going to be making its way through as we head into next week. As it relates to the rainfall forecast here, we're taking a look at what this map is showing. This is through early tomorrow morning. We're seeing these patches of greens and these yellows as well across the Caribbean islands. Elsewhere in the Gulf, we'll be looking more at the Gulf Coast states in a moment. But we're seeing some of those more colorful shadings there as well. But again, for various islands in the Caribbean, especially the Windward Islands and going towards areas such as Jamaica, and over into Central America, it gets a little bit colorful there. So those passing showers are definitely possible, maybe with a moderate or even a heavy downpour across some areas. But things will be a little bit on the drier side for much of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and even Hispaniola. But elsewhere, there could be those passing showers. Look into the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, much is not really expected, nor for most of Florida. And also as we head towards the ABC Islands right there, but then headed towards Northern South America, uh, there may be some instances of heavy rain, but that's unlikely to be very widespread across this entire area. Going towards the Gulf Coast states here, we're taking a look at it, and we're seeing some of these more colorful shadings, these pinks offshore in the Gulf. And as we saw earlier, that's where much of that thunderstorm activity, all that convection is located right now. But some of that is making its way into Louisiana, going over into Mississippi as well, south, uh, southwestern Tennessee, southern Arkansas, even over into Oklahoma and parts of Texas, we're seeing those colorful shades. So a lot of activities making its way in. And please stay safe, guys, especially if you should encounter any floodwaters in any instance. Turn around, don't drown. And so that is pretty much what is happening right now across the area. 
And again, that cool down is expected for the Caribbean, the Northern Caribbean, and parts of Central America as we're going to be heading into next week. So as I said, I'll be talking more about that, giving you guys the updates in terms of what models are showing and anything else. But that rainy pattern is going to be persistent, as I mentioned. Matter of fact, this is the rainfall forecast for the next five days. So we're going into Wednesday morning of next week, sometime out from now. And we're seeing that it remains pretty much colorful across many parts of the Caribbean, especially over in some spots in Central America. We can see those purples, those pinks popping up as well. So that active pattern with the intermittent showers moving by is going to be continuing. That's pretty likely. So I'll be keeping you posted on a daily basis as I always do. And that is it for right now. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.